Hello and welcome to my next LP. Let's play Wario Master of Disguise. And this is going to be a little tricky because I'm doing this on an emulator. Even though I own the real game, so don't worry about that. Start off by typing in my name. Shadowy Productions. Nothing too complicated. Or just Shadowy... P. Because I don't feel like putting in productions. I don't even know if it'll fit. I didn't even bother to count before doing this. I'm so unprepared! I'm sorry. So, Wario's being a badass, just sitting in his house, lounging around. Fresh Wario scoop? Okay. It's like a new ice cream flavor. I'll have a fresh scoop of Wario. Grosser than ever! Great! What the fuck is that on his shoe? Is that mud? Or shit, I don't even know. Maybe I should read the bottom. Bah! No treasure that leads on the news! Ah, poor guy! Oh, wait, no, that's not even Wario. No, Wario talks when the font is, or when the text is yellow, so, um... Ooh, the silver zephyr, <laughs> however that's pronounced. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. Hopefully. Fuzzy dude, maybe? A popular TV sh No. Fuck this. He doesn't even, like, advance the text when, I'm, when I press a button. Who's this, thief? This show looks good. Good way to kill an hour. In this show, a somewhat ordinary fellow walks up to a luxury liner. The chump... This chump is a thief? How is he gonna steal anything if he's dressed like such a bonehead? Though Wario was trash talking the TV thief, he really was insanely jealous. As you can so plainly tell by Wario's posture. Wario keeps watching, drooling at the thought of being a master thief. I mean, just look at him. Look at his jerky leg movements. I think he's definitely drooling over that. The world's greatest thief, it'll be mine! Watch closely. With a wave of his wand, this fellow turns into the notorious thief. Epic pauses for the win. The Silver Zephyr. Whatever. I, uh, I wish I should really look up how to pronounce that. Before I, I should have really done that before I started this LP. Again, I'm so unprepared. Wow, this guy looks like a pretty big faggot. And it happened. The thief... Transformed. I can't even see what that says because it's so bright and red. Wario drools even more, as you can see. Jerky leg movements. Bah! I want in on the action. This guy ain't worthy. Black. Bleh! <laughs> black. Wario is Count Black. Actually, that silver Zephyr dude looks like Count Black a little bit with his cape and hat. Just a little bit. Yes, Wario has come up with one of his uh, brilliant ideas. I'm a genius. I'm so good I scare myself. Yes, and then he goes into his back room to build something. What will he build? I don't know. <laughs> but what I really don't know is why that silver Zephyr guy is just standing there. Just deadpan, just not even moving, his arms extended. Like, that's the worst TV show ever. I would not watch that for more than five seconds. Just seeing this guy stand there with his magic wand, not even moving. That's pretty awful. Nice TV show, Silver Zephyr. I want to be just like you. Ta-da! If that moron could be on TV, so can I. I was born to be on the boob tube. Did, did, that, really, that really says boob tube, doesn't it? Behold this Telmet! Television. Teleporting. And, uh, it's a helmet. What more could you want? Let's fire this baby up with these MS Paint effects. It's probably because, oh, yeah. I don't know, there might be some graphic issues since this is on an emulator. I don't know. But anyway, this is how the game works. You get teleported into the TV in various different episodes. We're starting off on episode one. Whose show is this anyway? That, that, that's the name of the episode. And so the first level in the game, pretty uh, short. Levels in this game, they're not like... This game isn't like a traditional Mario or Wario game at all. But I'll explain that after this here cutscene. So, we're actually in the TV show right now. He's finally stopped standing in one pose and he's actually gonna steal something. I blow through like the gentlest breeze, then steal in with the greatest of ease. Think I'm a threat? I'll have to concur. Lock your doors, I'm the civil ze silver zephyr. Okay, it's gotta be zephyr then, because it rhymes. Now, to business, unless he's just awful at rhyming. What a luxurious ship! I shall steal its most dazzling treasures. Well, that didn't rhyme. And then Wario just comes out of nowhere and rapes him. What an entrance, and for my big break in TV, too. 
It worked. I'm a genius. I'm on that dork show. Hey, and ain't that extra lucky. That silver heifer guy dropped his wand. And then he just steals it from him. Don't know what this wand is good for, but at least I can scratch my back with it. Oh, wait. It's good for something, right, schmancy pants? Oh, my aching. Who, who are you? Oh, and that's my wand. Give it back. Relinquish it now. Who am I? Me? I'm the star of this here show now. Wario. Do I gotta beat it into your head? I'm Wario. Star? No, you're nobody. Hey, don't wave that. Ah, no, it's not so hard, sir. Old Goodstyle begs you. Oh my, a new master at your service, sir. Wow, a talking wand and it calls me, sir? Ah, yes, my new master, and I am known as Goodstyle. With merely a wave and a flourish, I have remade all of my masters. Oh, I've changed paupers into princes, and I've turned zeros into heroes. I've even helped many former masters, such as him, turn into a master thief. So whoever you really want to be, good style is at your service. Ah, but I've jabbered so. Let me simply show you. Good day, and welcome back to Let's Play Skull Monkeys. Who am I? No, actually, um... I'm afraid Mr. Goodstyle stole Caboose's opening line. It's quite unfortunate. But anyway, as soon as you get a new power-up for your wand, you'll be taken to this screen, and you'll get a little tutorial on how to use your powers. It's not really that complicated, ever. Um, you usually only have, like, a select few moves for each form. The main difficult thing about each form is just knowing what symbol to draw to actually, um, transform into that form. This is Wario's main form, but eh, I'll talk after this. Check out these duds! Now all I need is a fancy name like the Silver Zipper. Um... Let me see, I could be, uh, no, that's not it. Maybe, um... Ha! Got it! The Purple Wind, yes! Silent but deadly. P purple Wind? You're a thief too? Ha! I'm superior to you even without that wand. Good, because you're not getting good style back, faggot. Wait, no, my wand, G come back, I really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, bug off already, okay, good style. Now that I'm all geared up, let's bust the ship open. Hey, what a foul man, bring back my wand. Oh, I'll strike you when you least expect it, thief. Ooh, name calling, name calling, okay. So, now I can finally explain some stuff about this game. Uh, now I can't even do anything up here. So, you would never actually play as Wario in his standard form. This is the closest thing to Wario's normal form as you actually get. Um... Oh, a treasure chest. Yes. These- My first chest! This purple wind stuff is already paying off! But do you know how to open it? Wah! Oh, good style! It's you! These puny chests, I'll smash them open! What a novel way for a thief to open chests! But it won't work, sir. They're too tough! Sad face. Then what do I gotta do? Go get a closer look. I'll help pry it open. Close enough for ya! Indeed, I'll always tell you when we can begin. I'll use a picture to keep it short and sweet. See? When we're ready, touch it to start. Give it a try, sir, but first, hear me out just a moment longer. Spit it out! Do you want my autograph? No, sir, I want every gem you find! They're... they're so delectable. Mmm, this is delicious. But more importantly, they're all guys' gems. Guys, gems! Yes, the more I eat, the more disguises I can make. Who cares? This thief getup is good enough. I'm keeping all gems for myself. For me! I can tell you're not going to like this. Sir, if I may explain, if I eat those gems, I can disguise you in ways that will help. Help Wario find more treasure? 
You can go more places with more disguises. While your Thief Wario disguise will help, more disguises will give you many more powers. I don't like the idea of losing treasure, but think of it as an investment, sir. I'll note your disguises on the upper screen. Eventually, you'll have quite a few of them. Each gives you powers to start with, then superpowers after I get the right mastery gem. The Thief Wario outfit never upgrades, however. Phew. Now go pry open that chest. I think there's a tasty guy's gem inside. Alright, so basically whenever you get close to a chest, you click on this little icon, you can open it. But you can't just take the treasure inside. Oh no, that'd be too simple. You have to play a mini game. Uh, study the colored image, then touch the screen to begin. Use the stylus to paint in the areas that are missing color. If you make a mistake, you'll lose a Wario hat. If you lose all hats, you will fail. So, and, and if you fail, you just, the uh, bombs just come out of the treasure chest and you have to start over. So this thing's yellow and these are turquoise. Alright. Um, now, this is the one thing that playing on an emulator is really gonna fuck me over on. Playing on an emulator with this mouse thing as my stylus really isn't all that easy. Um, because especially for this minigame where you have to paint stuff in, it just takes a lot longer than when you're just using the normal stylus for some reason. So, um, this one's pretty easy because it's the beginning, but the games get much harder later on. So, uh, I uh, will see how that works out. It's just that the comic, co no, 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 not comic, cosmic guy's gem inside. I can change it when, oh, this is Wario talking? Okay, whatever. Cool, Wario. So every time you get a new guy's gem, this uh, Mr. Good Style will eat it, and you will get a new power-up. Cosmic Wario, low gravity awaits you. To suit up for service, draw a helmet on your head. So just draw a circle on Mario's head to change to this form. Ka yeah, no, I already read that. Cosmic Wario has the power of laser fire. Isn't technology magnificent? Try it. What straight shots. Ah, and may I shoot from the hip with more ideas? Fire the laser at ropes and switches too. I forgot to explain this but this guy before, but this guy just has awful puns. And I mean awful puns, indeed. So, just beware of that. If you don't like puns, um, <laughs> you may want to not read what this guy says. Last warning. Oh, wait, this is him talking. Last warning. Give that wand back. The wand you hold in your filthy hand. It's served my family for generations. I'd be shamed beyond belief if I lost it, so give it back to me immediately. Immediately? Immediately! SpongeBob. Without it, I can't turn to the Silver Zephyr, a thief fe feared by all. And I'll be stuck as myself, the utterly boring Count Cannoli, forever and ever. You mustn't steal my wand, or steal my fame. Count Cannoli, what a faggot name! Look who's a nobody now! You're not getting this wand back! Oh, and then you can actually move. So yeah, whenever Count Cannoli gets in your way, you just have to kind of get by him without touching him. I don't even, I don't get the point of these, uh... The, uh, Count Cannoli's little, uh... Little parts in this game where he tries to block off your path. It's stupid. If you bump into him, you just start the room over. It's so dumb. Alright, a little thing where you have to slide something through a maze without touching the walls. And you get three chances, so hopefully I can do it. I don't know how different it's going to be just using the mouse. I don't know. We'll have to see. Reminds me of that, uh, I don't remember what it's called. It's like the scary maze game or something like that. Where you just have to pull, it, like, move this little thing through a maze. And it's like really thin, you have to be really careful. And then once you reach the end, you're like all stressed out and sweating, and then this giant face comes out and scares you. I don't know, I've never personally played it, but my little cousin played it, and she like, and my aunt and uncle got it on videotape, and she like, she was just like, holy shit, and she's like eight, so, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, not a very good way to, um, express your fear when you're eight years old. Use the stylus to drag falling items to their proper receptacles, raising and lowering the item generator as needed. Alright, so, okay, these go in here, these go in here, yeah, 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 yeah. alright. And poo goes in the toilet, very appropriate. Um, alright, so things will basically, oh god, I didn't see that, alright, yeah, this is not gonna be fun. So just drag and drop, um, the falling things so that they fall into their proper recept reciprocals, or whatever we said before. 
Um, it's pretty easy now, but you have to get like a certain number in by the uh, end of the time limit. And at the end of the game, uh, you're not going to be able to do it with like the generator up here. So you're going to have to move it down manually, but then it gets really hard to get them all in on time. So, just a little warning, it gets kind of harder later on. Right now, it's not so bad. It's a little challenging because I'm using a mouse and I'm not used to it, but I'm sure I'll eventually get used to it. And this has the SS Caviar map on it, or inside it. There's a, this is a map of part of the ship, now I know how to get around! Gotta remember that's Wario talking. Um, well anyway, I think that's an excellent point to cut off here. I am Shadow Productions, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.